What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today we're diving back into, you guessed it, more Michigan craft beer. And this one kind of caught me off guard. I did not know this was going to be uh, purging into the Michigan market. It's from Founders. It is, we all know, all day IPA guys. Now, newly released. It is the Grapefruit All Day IPA. Again, this one caught me off guard. I didn't really see this one coming. I don't think Founders promoted it very much, but this is newly available in six pack cans. This is gonna be retailing between $9.99 and $10.99. So again, it's the staple that we're used to. It's 4.7% ABV, but there are some slight differences. This one's obviously grapefruit, right? And then this is a session hazy IPA. So not the same lines as your all day, but again, it is the same ABV. So this one is new and exciting. I really want to break this one down for you. Again, wasn't really sure where this came from. It was kind of out of the blue, but I'm excited to try this with you. So this was canned on 129.24, and today is February 15th, time of recording. So uh, pretty darn fresh still, but again, there are some good things when large companies absorb some of the smaller companies. I know Founders was always pretty large. It just got bigger over the years. Now it's a massive company and they're playing on the all day name because it was such a historical beer and very famous beer from Founders. It's kind of like what happened to Bell's. Bells got bought out and then they played the two-hearted game. They played all the big names and tied them into the two-hearted and Oberon got the Oberon Eclipse. Yeah, all day. Uh, grapefruit, you have different varietal, varietals of those epic beers, of the most famous beers. So that's what they're doing here at Founders. They're playing on this one. I just did review a hazy one from them. The, uh, what is it? Mortal Bloom. And now we have another hazy. So I don't know. I love grapefruit. Uh, this really reminded me in my in my mind and memory banks of like the grapefruit sculpin. I did like that beer once upon a time. So it, it, this one kind of caught my eye. So I'm going to dig into this one. That was a lot of talking and get into the Michigan glassware guys. And I think that's all the info you need to know. Let's see. Uh, 4.7% in 50 IBUs. So I think this is going to be along the same lines as all day, man. Um, just indeed hazy. Uh, as we pour, it's not as dark as your typical all day. Again, it's a little bit lighter, more uh, coppery yellow, but it doesn't look way different than the normal all day. You, you would just see darker orange and brown a little bit in the all day. Typically, this one's on the lighter end of the spectrum and indeed more hazy. There's no doubt about it, but it's marked and marketed as a hazy grapefruit IPA. Uh, so you guys can see what's going on there. I don't need to elaborate. There's a nice fluffy head sitting on top. It's kind of oily, slick, sliding down the glass. Looks good. Um, let's get into the aroma here. <laughs> Um, I don't know how else I can say it. It's a shit ton of grapefruit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so much grapefruit. It does. It's, it, it is all the good things I love about grapefruit beers. I have to really be in the mood for them. Sometimes they come across very artificial and perfumey. This one smells pretty good. Um, again, reminding me, and for some reason it came to mind when this came into the market recently, the grapefruit sculpin from, uh, Stone. So, it smells a lot like that. It's, I mean, it's slightly perfumey and floral, you know. Man, this thinking about this, my dad would freaking hate this beer. He would literally lose his mind. He hates grapefruit and beers. Uh, this would make him just dump it down the sink, but not today. I'm not him. Uh, and Dad, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to review this still. So sweet citrus, uh, definitely like some uh, big sweet fruity notes, just Great, just the most abundant, juicy ruby red grapefruit, just voluptuous grapefruit, rind, pith, juiciness, bitterness, all that in there. Um, it, it's everything that you would imagine in a grapefruit um, to the highest form, guys. It, it really is. I'm not going to go into more detail. Let's dive in. Uh, all day grapefruit. Bam. It's juicy grapefruit, and it's all the best things about grapefruit. It is indeed a little bit of that tart, like sour, bitter, um, you know. It's got a lot of that skin quality and the bitterness, uh, but it kind of leads into bitterness on the back end. So, yes, you have those 50 IBUs that play into it. it. It actually goes from juicy grapefruit to the pith and and rind of the grapefruit, and then it goes right into, like, some sweet, honey, piney, uh, resinous bitterness on the back end. It just kind of eases its way into the bitterness from the sweet end of the spectrum. Um, off my first initial sip, 
it's a really good beer. I'm not gonna lie, especially at large scale manufacturing. Um, I, I I like this recipe. I like that it's 4.7 percent. I like that it's still hoppy as an IPA, and I like that it kind of embodies. Um, some of the things we like about all day, but in a higher different form. Now we again, we're playing on this variety, this grapefruit. You already get some grapefruit in all day, but this one to the next tier, just the most extreme tier of grapefruit without being that annoying fake perfumey taste. Like this one is the best way I can put it, juicy, voluptuous, ruby red grapefruit. Uh, grapefruit. I'm having a hard time saying that word today. Don't know why. So again, there's a little bit of a malty undertone to this beer, just like all day, but it's it's definitely subdued. It's a lot less because there's that juicy kind of citrus that plays into it. And then again, you're offset with that sweetness by a lot of that bitterness on the back end. With all that being said, very well-rounded beer. Definitely leans to the dry end of the spectrum, which I like from all day. It always is that way anyways. Um, and final note, I think this beer is a hit. I think it's really good and it's fun to play off the notoriously known all day beer. Um, again, making this a more desirable beer than maybe your average founder's beer would be. So this one is something somebody would strive to get because it's got the name attached to it and it is bringing quality also. So very good drinkability, very nice body too, just like all day has. Uh, but again, this is leaning more towards crazy end of grapefruit spectrum. Um, hard to pick up anything else. There is some nice floral notes in here. Uh, a soft maltiness that does ease its way on the back end because you're hit with the resinous pine. But again, got that juicy, voluptuous, um, bitter yet dry grapefruit that just eases its way all the way to the back end of the beer. Really tasty. You'd have to be in the mood for it though. It's a lot of grapefruit. It's packing a punch. Still reminding you it's an IPA, but very well-rounded, still dry, still crazy drinkable. So where do I put this beer? Um, definitely on the drier end, definitely super drinkable, definitely a cool name with a cool story attached to the name. So um, yeah, it's a good beer. I'm gonna go with a three nine out of five. I really like it. I would definitely drink it again. And honestly, it, it's, it's a good form of grapefruit. It's not too artificial, it's not too fake. Uh, just bringing the right quality to this beer and upholding that name. So um, yeah, I think it's great. I think it's worthy of uh, seeking this out. And again, I'm just some Joe Schmo on YouTube. So listen to me. Don't listen to me. Do what you want. But it is out in distribution right now, guys. Thank you so much for being here. It's been another review. Until next time, cheers, pros, yamas, whatever you want to say.